Welcome back to The Early Show. Coming up in just a little while, we're going to talk to an aid worker in Haiti about the very, very difficult task of helping the people who are, are uh, the survivors there on the ground. And we'll continue to hear from survivors. Some of the stories have been just incredible. Ahead this morning, you'll meet a young woman from Alaska. She was a volunteer down there. She was trapped under a collapsed building. Her brother and their friends dug her out. She has made her way to a hospital in Miami, lost part of her leg, and yet, much like the young woman we just heard from before, wants to go back. We'll talk to her and her doctor in just a few minutes. Joining us now from his home in Chappaqua, New York, is former President Bill Clinton, the United Nations Special Envoy to Haiti. Mr. President, good morning. Good morning. Uh, the need is more than apparent, and this earthquake happened Tuesday night. It's Friday morning now. Is there anything you can think of to help speed the aid that so s desperately needs to get to Haiti? Well, first, let me say that there are 21 more search and rescue teams coming. Uh, the longer-term recovery cannot begin until we finish this search and rescue operation. Uh, meanwhile, you've got all these homeless people, and we have to increase the capacity to distribute food, water, medicine, and shelter. But we also have to increase the <laughs> volume of water, food, medicine, and shelter we have. Uh, the, the United States military has helped to make the airport operational. The Haitian government has recovered its decision-making ability. We're still clearing out the UN, you know, our building where I was working. We, we still have a lot of people under the rocks, but I'm confident a lot of them will be found alive. Yeah. We've got to keep doing that. So the main thing is you're gonna see every day the capacity to organize this will be better. But meanwhile, you have more and more people who haven't had any sleep for two days, right. uh, haven't had any food, haven't had any water, and they're uh, walking around at night with no lights on, stepping over mm. bodies, living and dead. Mm. In this environment, the most important thing all the rest of us can do is give s even small amounts of cash for food, medicine, water, and for for shelter. Right. And but we're Mr. also trying to do a little bit for protection. And right. we're getting the, the capacity is building up now. All right. To Mr. Deliver President, this money. some hey. have suggested there's no need for donations, that people have already paid for whatever needs to be done with their tax money. Well, that's just not true. We, we give uh, uh, a modest amount of uh, aid to Haiti every year, but the, the uh, United States and other countries that have committed assistance have done it after Haiti, keep in mind, year before last, had four hurricanes that devastated the country, took away 15 percent of their income. Then they adopted a very modern and good economic program, which I was down there helping them implement, right. which we were trying to do th largely through private sector development funds. I talked to the private sector people yesterday. I talked to the private non-governmental groups yesterday. I talked to the other government donors yesterday. They're all committed to going back right. to the original plan. But look, this is the worst natural disaster in this country's history. The United Nations alone lost more people in one day than has ever mm. have ever been lost in a day in the United Nations history. We've got to help them get through this. And I would just like to ask the Americans who hear that message that they don't need any help. How would you feel if other countries said that to you and you didn't know anybody with water, anybody with food, anybody with a roof over their head, and people were still looking for their loved ones buried under rocks. No, we need help. That's why I still want people to go to our UN site at uh, clintonfoundation.org slash Haiti Earthquake, or they can just text Haiti at 20222 and give $10. Believe me, that is making a huge difference. Right. That money immediately converts into medicine, food, and water. We need that. All right. Mr. President, we thank you so much for your time this morning, and good luck. Thank you. All right. To find more on the situation on the ground in Haiti, you can log on to Mr. Clinton's website. That's clintonfoundation.org. And it's so interesting, the Red Cross has this thing where with your cell phone, you, you can just text. Use your thumb, 10 bucks, take it off your bill. Yeah. And lots of people are responding. Yeah, millions has come in that way. Yeah, just like that. Did it last night. Credit it right away. Oh.